So we got our second match of the day here. Yep, here we have Jet and Seabass. Or... Jet and Seabass. I think it's Seabass. I don't remember. That's all right. It's strange the Smash GG is still uh, not seated. Or the brackets aren't showing up. Peculiar. Then we got Ike Snake. Ike and Snake, interesting. Ike is kind of, uh, he used to be really popular at the beginning of the game. Kind of fell off, but you know, there's still some people that really appreciate this character. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, Jet and Seabass, so. Yeah, Seabass, let's see what his Snake has to do. Fighting Snake is, can often be frustrating. Um, Optimal Snake is, you kind of, it's like you really have, you really literally have to navigate around a minefield. Um, it's a very setup oriented character, so as you can see right here, like Snake can definitely hold his own in terms of like brawling. He can easily run away, right? So uh, Jet's probably going to have to try his best to use Ike's um, uh, long or powerful mid-range tools to poke, poke at Snake and try and get in. Because for him, you know, he does his sword doesn't have a tipper or anything. So nice use of the super armor to up the out of that. Very nice. Yeah, Snake's going to go high. Going to have to catch him. Nice. He, yeah, the beers are very. Oh, tries to go with the forward air. Doesn't quite get him. Very nice. Yeah, one of the classic snake things is incentivizing trades. So, you know. Oh, nice. He tried the up with the reverse hitbox. That was very smart. It kind of worked. Right. Yeah, yeah, anyway, snake's, snake's main thing is incentivizing trades. Uh, up tilt's going to tilt it. He's going to take it there for Jet, giving a yeah. one stock lead right now. But, but yeah, incentivizing he, the trades isn't going to work too well on someone almost as heavy as Snake is. So. Can Ike, I think, are also, I think they're the same way. They're both one of six. Yeah. Yeah, if I remember that right. I have to look right. it up just to make sure, but... No, I, I, the only reason I know that is because Ike and Ridley are the same weight, so... Oh, okay. I think Snake is also the same weight. They just have different fall speeds, so it looks a little bit different. Oh, the Nikita. Oh, nice. Jet gets out of that. Wow, he, he, very smart use of side B to try and rush him there. I'm not sure why he backed off, though. Oh, uh, gets blown up by the C4. That. That's okay. He's got a good 75% lead here. So yeah, Jet's been doing a really good really good job of playing the mid-range game here and just trying to um, intercept Snake's approach options. Um, try not to get grabbed or spiked there. Nice. Because um, his, his sword is pretty long. Oh, he's going to blow himself up there. Yep. Nice. Oh, nice air dodge. Yeah, this is a sticky situation here for Ike. Yeah, Ooh, there you go. Wow. Setup. Ouch. Two grenades, a throw, and an up or, and a up smash. Combo into that mortar strike is usually, you know, one of Snake's main ways to get big damage at close range. Typically, you can do throw. I think you can do up throw, or you can do a th or not up throw. You can do a throw into into that. Uh, there you go. Here's there's a trade. See, because Snake is, as you said, in this matchup, it may not you know really matter that much because the weight difference is negligible because there isn't one. So, but nevertheless, he's still going to be pulling out grenades all the time, like it's water and uh, shielding to protect himself. Oh, nice, yeah. nice parry. I say the grenades are really helpful here, especially or in the Ike matchup specifically for this one, because um, not exactly trading, but just zoning off the areas. Of course, like he's doing a really good jet. I, I commend both players right now. Seabass is doing a really good job trying to control as much of the stage as possible at all times platforms and whatnot with the C4 and his grenades. Up B is not going to take it. Um, and, Super uh, high recovery Jet, coming Jet's, out. Right. Jet's doing a really good job of weaving in and out of these quite literally what is a minefield. Yeah, catching Snake because he can B reverse. He can apply grenades, C4 and B reverse all, all day. His airspeed is, is pretty good. Oh, oopsie. He blew himself up. Oh, nice. Shield poke. Yeah. Caught him. Jet's F tilt taking it. Right. Yeah, basically reset neutral here. Um, but Seabass is proving to be even more elusive than, than previous in the match. Um, doing a good job mixing up his options here. Um, did, doesn't quite catch the roll. Nice back air. Ooh, he's combo off the grenade at the accident yeah, there. Good grenade. 62%. Very nice. There. Double forward air. Ike's aerials do a lot of percent. And if you can string them together, um, you know, you're in for a world of pain. Two Ike grenades does, and a down tilt there. Ike does a lot of percent, period. Right, right now Jet's kind of in danger though of being blown up by something powerful um, and and or like a grab or some sort of setup. Nice drop down up here. Just being blown really up by something bad. Yeah, 
knew they weren't gonna be able to get the um, up tilt. So instead of for a jump right. down up there to get Yeah, so solid Jet, Jet might have to start be, might have to start playing a little bit more conservatively now if he wants to or maybe pull out something, maybe rush him, pull out something unique. Oh. Yeah, I don't. Um, I disagree with. Oh, nice. Oh. Here, you have to play extremely aggressive. Right. No, I mean, like, if he wants to, like, that's. You know what? You're probably right. I'm just saying because you don't want it. You don't really want to give Snake the time of day to set up his to set up his stuff because when Snake doesn't have any of his setups active, that's when he's not at his best. So. The essay. You know. As someone who doesn't play Ike in this position, I literally just run in an uppy. But. I mean, right. I mean, on a platform, maybe. Oh, oh, nice dash, dash attack, attack call out. Though. Yeah, that was very risky of him. It did pay off though, because he did lose a stock in previously in the set or previously in this game to a parried dash attack. Um, that's how he lost, I think, the second stock, or maybe it was it the first one. I don't remember, but yeah, that was a parried parried dash attack. It's only one strike, but as we see, it does kill there. So you know, Ike's sword is quite big. I'm running it right back to PS2. Or PS2. I I, I always I always think it's funny when. When Snake players run the concrete jungle, Snake skin. He's not doing that right now, but the, the leopard Snake skin. That one's kind of funny. Do you know someone named Legit Apples, by the way? Uh, no, not yet. I do not. All right. Yeah. Oh, nice using the up B there to our super armor through the grenade. Very smart. Oh, up air. Oh, transfer more up airs. Yeah. Now he's really going on the offensive. Yeah, just trying his best to not give uh, Seabass any room here to pull out any tr any sort of trickery with these uh, tiny explosives here. The Ike is also kind of a taller character, so um, the uh, the threat of getting hit from an explosion that's on one of the platforms is you know more of a threat than uh, other characters. Yeah, um, he's not necessarily if... heavy. Yeah, I can also Ike also can't like. Flatten themselves like other tall characters, or other right. characters can. Like, I mean, wait, can or... he low profile with down tilt though? I feel like he can. He might go to low profile with down tilt. Maybe. Nice dash not, attack. Probably not as severe as some of the other characters. Right, of course. It's not pancake, pancake. It might be like a, you know, an apple fritter type of thing. Down throw. Oh, doesn't. Okay, he doesn't quite get the platform read. Oh, it gets blown up. That's all right. He has the information. He got the. He got the read. So I, I think so far it's, this has been mostly an on-stage game, which is kind of strange considering Ike's recovery is really linear in both directions, and Snake has a lot of tools to quite literally just pull out an edge guard. That was a misinput, probably. Definitely. Um, ooh, nice. Good reverse up. Nice, very nice reverse up there. Yeah, Jet sitting on a very nice one stock lead here. Oh, down tilt. Captures a grenade, throws it back at him. If, uh, now I can see one of the main things you got to focus on when you're fighting a snake is item play. You've got to know how to catch grenades, throw them back, use them at the right time. You know, because remember, you can use them against them. Um, it's also knowing when to catch it, when not to. Very nice uh, awareness there. Oh wow, that that shield was looking pretty bad. That was a that was a really potent setup there. Not much he could have done there. Nice forward air up here. Back throw. Uh, yeah, he didn't go for a forward air. He I'm tried that first for the game. Box skin. Uh, <laughs> forward for pro. Catching Snake, you, you should really always expect to be reverse. So, for catching him, uh, Jet, uh, Jet trying to catch him with Ike's up air is probably his best shot. If he doesn't want to risk it for the up B. Oh, wow, he really, he really tried to hit him there with the side B. He went for it. Dash, dash, dash attack. Take oh, man. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, you gotta. You really have to persevere through all the explosions.